I'm at Urquhart Castle on Loch Ness in the Highlands of Scotland. This whole area is part of the Great Glen Fault, which runs northeast to southwest from the North Sea through Inverness, across Scotland in an almost straight line forming Loch Ness, and then all the way across the Irish Sea and into Ireland. It is a transcurrent fault, two bits of the earth sliding sideways against each other. This is the middle of the highlands, the mountains that stretch across Scotland and all the way up Norway, the same mountain range, formed when continents collided nearly 400 million years ago. This was before Pangaea, the giant supercontinent, all the land on earth in one place. That would form 100 million years later, and these would be the central Pangaean mountains. And the timescales we're talking about are incomprehensible to humans. But Pangaea eventually split up. Land continued to move at roughly the same rate your fingernails grow. And over this unimaginably long time, this mountain range was split. Not just by the North Sea between here and Scandinavia, but by the slowly forming Atlantic Ocean. Look at Newfoundland in the northeast of Canada. You will see the same features, the same northeast to southwest line of the Great Glen Fault. Canada and Scotland are separated by an ocean and still slowly moving apart, but they were once connected. The fossils and geology match. These mountains, these gorgeous, mist-shrouded Scottish mountains, they are also the Appalachians, the chain that runs through the southern United States. Now, there's been a lot of erosion uplifting since. It happens in the best part of half a billion years, but once upon a time, they were one and the same. The Scottish Highlands and the Appalachians are the same mountain chain, literally an ocean apart.